Hey, here's a math short video for you today. We This is all about distribution. So distribution is just a repeated process of multiplication where we're going to multiply first term times first term, first term times second term. And then in this same binomial grouping, we're gonna take the last term here and multiply it to the first term in the other one. And then that second term in the first binomial multiplied to the last term. So this is the general process. We're just making unique combinations. So x times x is x squared. And then x times 2 is a positive 2x. And then 5 times x, they're both positive. Also a 5x there, positive 5x. And then 5 times 2 is 10. Another typical process in our work is we scan this for like terms, and it's often that the two middle terms are combinable. And so this becomes x squared plus 7x plus 10. Okay, so I'm going to keep it in the family of the 5 and the 2. Here's what happens when both of the binomial signs inside are negative. You're still doing x times x and x times the last term, but now it's a negative 2. So you got x squared minus 2x. And then you do negative 5 times the x and negative 5 times the negative 2. So now you're going to get negative 5x. And then a negative times a negative is positive. So you're going to get a positive 10. And so when these middle terms combine, they actually get a total of a negative 7x. And so when you compare those two, right, it looks pretty identical. What changed was the sign of the middle term. Okay, so this is what happens when both of those signs are negative. Here's what happens when one is positive and one is negative. This one happens to have the first binomial positive. So you're going to have x times x and x times negative 2, x squared minus 2x. Positive 5 times x and then times a negative 2 gets us a positive 5x and a negative 10. So we're seeing some elements repeat themselves in this family of problems. These middle terms combine. But because the signs are different, when we combine them, it actually is a subtraction step that we are doing. And so negative 2 plus a positive 5 or plus the 5 should get us a 3x. So it really felt like 5 subtract 2. And that left us with a positive 3x. So we're left with x squared plus 3x minus 10. Okay. So this is a way where you see in the family of problems, we're getting 10 as the common last number. However, we've seen a negative 7, a positive 7, and now a positive 3x. The last one in this family is, again, where one's positive, one's negative, but this time the first term has the negative and the or second, first, sorry, the first grouping has the negative and the second grouping has the positive. Process is the same, though. So those arrows I'm doing, you could do all the time for yours also x times x is x squared, x times positive 2 is a positive 2x, negative 5 times x is a negative 5x, and negative 5 times positive 2 is a negative 10. So this is actually the first time, or no, it's the second time we're seeing a negative 10 as our last term. Now when we go to combine these, it's a positive 2 and a negative 5. So it's 2 subtract 5, which gets us now a negative 3x. And now when we build everything around it, it's x squared minus 3x minus 10. So hopefully you're seeing some of the patterns that are showing up in this family of problems, how the middle term can change based on adding and subtracting, and then how the last term was always was a 10 in this case when we do 5 times 2, but what can change is its sign.